The work of body piercings is tonight a step closer to being legally allowed in Warren. Earlier this afternoon, Warren's Board of Health approved the recommendation. They added a few items to that resolution because they say it will protect the public. First News reporter Jacob Thompson explains. The Warren City Health Department met today to discuss whether or not performing body piercing should be allowed in the city. As of now, they are not. The Board of Health says they do not see a problem with it with some changes. It was unanimous that we needed a uh, little bit more language as far as training. Right now, tattoo artists and piercers already have to go through training, mandated by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA. But the city wanted more training for their resolution. Maybe we want to add some uh, continuing education requirements to protect the public. Back in 2001, the ordinance was passed that no person shall operate a business within the city that offers body piercing services. The only exceptions are for medical purposes or when using an ear piercing gun. I feel as time evolves, um, uh, times bring about a change. Uh, Warren City had a prohibition on piercing for a number of years uh, and with uh, the business expanding in the um, body art world, we felt it was time to revisit it. Warren City is using the same standard of required training that Mahoney County uses. If the resolution changes, this could open up the door for new businesses and an economic impact. I don't know if it's going to be an overwhelming impact, but uh, ta there's tax base there. You know, uh, individuals that, that work in the city, pay taxes, um, uh, time will tell. Even though the vote did pass, it now must go in front of Warren City Council at their next meeting on July 26th. In Warren, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.